Hello, animators. In part one, I showed how to draw a fairly simple mouth. By creating all the parts first, it'll save us time later. Let's get started making some layers. I've already adjusted the mouth a bit, since I'll be duplicating this layer. I checked the rendering by clicking Ctrl plus R. We'll go to the Layer section and click on Duplicate Layer. Layer 1 should already be highlighted. We're going to duplicate this layer until we have 10 copies, or 10 layers. We need to rename these layers. Layer 1, I'm going to call it Rest. I'll be renaming these layers. And you can see what I've renamed them on the screen. We have Rest, FV, MBP, QW, L, etc., U, E, O, and AI. These are for reference. It will help us to know how to reshape the mouth in each layer. Now we need to make a switch layer. We go into the new layer creation, create a new layer. From the drop down, select switch. Now we need to rename our switch layer. We're going to rename it mouth. All of the layers that we had just duplicated, we're going to drag them and drop them into the mouth layer, the switch layer. Purpose of the switch layer is that it switches the images, switches the images that are contained within it, or the layers that are contained within it. Turning on the ones that correspond to the sounds that are made. We're going to be using these for syncing to audio. Now some switch layers don't sync to audio. <laughs> can do eyes that open and close and things like that in a switch layer. But for our purposes, we're going to be doing audio. Now, the next thing to do is to edit the shape of the mouth for each layer. So you click on the layer, such as this one is the rest layer, and I'm reshaping the mouth. Because this takes me such a long time, I've sort of fast-forwarded. This part takes me a long time, so basically what I've done is reshape the mouth, each one. I've clicked on them and shaped them according to whatever they should look like if the mouth were speaking. The next thing I've done is cleaned up the edges and sort of made the skin part smaller. When you go up to your switch layer, the mouth, you right click on it, you'll see a little drop down and it has the names of all the different layers. You can click on it and get a little preview of what, what's in there. That's how you can check the rendering of each one. You can also, as you can see, you could save the rendering as a JPEG. And so on. In the next tutorial, I'll show how to use this switch layer. Because we're going to want to add 
some audio to it and make it talk. That'll be next time. So stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching.